freaking freezing. It's so cold that my heart. Oh no. Oh no. She's a little frostbite. She's got some frost and some ice. I don't know what is going on. But she still works. Thank God. My heart was almost broken. You get it? Wasn't that funny? <laughs> My heart was... Uh, come on, guys. I mean, seriously? What's your problem? What is your problem? I said, let's do this. All right, we're going to set her up. All right, I wasted probably two minutes, so I'm going to have to cut that out. But the, she's got some frost on it from the car still. Hopefully she'll defrost. All right? All right, now I'm going to set this up. All right? Give me a second here, and we're going to get this going. All right, guys, we're going to have some fun here. All right? We got the heart. All right? got the freaking garbage man guys it's really cold out here also it's around 30 degrees all right um, what's good about the old Mitsubishi here is I don't have to use deep well sockets all right um, I think this has probably been the first car I've ever owned that I didn't have to have deep well sockets to take the lug nuts off so that's uh, pretty cool here hey what's up thank you Great, great guys. All right, so let's take a look um, and see what this heart can do. You know, like I said, you know, maybe after hard days of work, maybe, you know, you're out on the job, you got your heart drill driver and your heart impact driver, you know, in the back of the car, rush hour, six o'clock at night, snow's coming down, snow is starting, and you got a flat, you got to put the donut on, but man... You want to get this done. It's freezing. You want to get back on the road. Let's see if the impact, the heart impact driver can loosen these lugs. And we're going to test it at a couple different torque ratings here. Torque settings, excuse me. But now the Mitsubishi, and I hope everybody got this one instead of the old one. Because we've seen Depot starting to do that now, what they're doing. All right, is they're putting their old um, eight piece, right? This is what you'd usually get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it would end here. You'd still get the adapter here, the three eights, all right? But they ran out of the 21 millimeter. So instead of kind of restocking that, they put the old ones with just the eight piece. Remember, the new ones, you're getting a free 21 millimeter with the metric set. All right, and I'm able to use this only because I don't have to use deep well sockets. All right, so let's check it out. All right, so this will help the performance a little bit. All right, obviously it's a smaller socket, not a deep well. Give it a little bit more torque, you know, nothing crazy. But all right, so let's set this. Now, these uh, lug nuts are supposed to be set at 80 foot pounds. All right very very small uh torque setting for the mitsubishi outlander sport all right it's actually a little bit less than my nissan altima my altima was 90 foot pounds all right uh so this is 80 but we're gonna set these at 90 all right as you can see here this will focus all right there we go we're right at the 90 mark Okay, you got it, and we're at foot pounds. All right, let's rock this. Let's get this set up a little bit better. Oh, it just came out. He took it out. What do you mean he took it out? He took it out. Let's see if I do it right there. Hmm. All right. I 
shouldn't tell you a bit more. Right, there we go. Alright, we're gonna set her at 90. Alright? Clicked in. We got the heart all ready to go. Now, we're going to see if this heart that's saying it has 1,700. It's kind of defrosted a little bit. We're going to see if this heart that says it has 1,700 inch-pounds of torque can bust 90 foot-pounds on this Mitsubishi here. We got 3,200 IPM. All right. Pretty much... A Ryobi clone, but you got the bit adapter in the back, which is very nice. All right, let's see what we got here. This should do this pretty easily, all right, especially with the smaller socket. 21 millimeter. All right, let's do this. All right. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Now I can do it with this 21 millimeter socket here. I'm gonna go to my Sonic though, because it bulges out a little bit and I don't wanna damage my old lug nut here. So I'm gonna pause this. We're gonna go up to 100. All right, folks, remember this has the 1.5 amp hour battery on it also. All right, so, you know, again, for $69, guys, um, you know, I think you get a lot of value with this um, heart impact driver. I, I think it's one of the best buys out there, guys, for, you know, a cheap impact driver kit, all right? You know, again, guys, the Harbor Freight, I think, is 59 if you use a coupon, but let's use just $69 a piece, right? I don't know. I think you're getting a lot more value with this heart. All right. Um, again, I believe the Bauer has like 1,300 inch pounds. This has 1,700. So a little bit more power. All right. And again, the warranty um, of three years over, you know, 90 days, I think kind of separates it. That's really what separates it. <clears throat> I'm not even going to say the torque separates it that much. Because if you want something, you know, and this is kind of, it's, it's not a big impact driver at all, but compared to some of these other impact drivers, you know, this thing is, is pretty big, all right? Um, but, you know, very comfortable to use. Um, you know, I, I, th I think there's a lot of value here, all right? So let's do 100 with the Mitsubishi lug nuts here all right, actually let me show you all right we got her set to a hundred oh that's new in meters all right 90 plus 10 we're at the 100 mark now i'm only going to go maybe a little bit higher than this on this car we might move over to the old ram 1500 after this one and we'll really put her to the test. Because remember, you got some bigger lugs there too. That's a 22 millimeter. All right. All right, you heard her click. Let's do this. Heart, 20 volt, brushed impact driver, 21 millimeter socket, at 100 foot-pounds here. Let's see what she does. All right. Pretty easily, too, guys. So, um, you know, you're getting some power with this, too, guys. All right? Now, obviously, 1,700 inch-pounds, right? What are we looking at, foot-pounds-wise? Uh, we're looking at around 150 foot-pounds. All right, so you have to be very careful, guys, on what the way they rate these 
impact wrenches, these impact drivers now. Um, this is real world testing here because you know when they do these tests on 1700 you know inch pounds, um, they're not doing them on you know lug nuts here with a 21 millimeter socket. All right, they're probably using a lot smaller um, bolts and stuff like that to kind of get that number. All right, um, which is fine. You're not really, this isn't made, guys, uh, for an impact driver, right? And I've been doing these videos for five years. This is just a test torque, guys. Relax, calm down, get a cup of coffee if you have to. All right, this is just testing torque. And God forbid, if you don't want to spend the money on an impact wrench because you don't use it in your home, you know, this is a DIY impact driver, all right? So the person who's buying this doesn't really want to spend too much money on tools. So if they have a, you know, Toyota Camry that's torqued at 82 foot pounds, you know, all right, use your impact driver, all right? All right, we're going to tighten her back up. We're going to move over. To the Dodge Ram and see what she can do. All right, real quick, guys. I'm switching over uh, to a 22 millimeter for the truck, but this company reached out to me. You're gonna see a video on it maybe later today. Real quick video. Um, uh, this company, Janor, uh, reached out to me and they wanted to do uh, a special deal for my followers, viewers, whatever. Um, real nice people over there. Um, I'm still, I'm just waiting for the code. I kind of actually already did the video a couple days ago, but they want to get me a code. Now this is going to be a 19 piece. Okay. Half inch socket set from eight millimeters all the way up to 24. All right. Yeah. Um, you get a couple, you know, you get an extension, you get a socket adapter, but 16 sockets, three accessories. Um, he's working on now the regular price is actually pretty good all right i think the regular price is 39.99 all right and these are half inch chrome well crv chrome vanadium all right um so i'm waiting on a price i hope or a code and if anyone's interested you know it's he's gonna take some money off for i don't know what the code maybe it'll be boss but they're on Amazon, guys. Um, they sell a lot of stuff on there. But, um, yeah, I thought it'd be, you know, something. I'm like, yeah, well, if you're going to give us, give my followers a good deal, sure. And like I said, the, the regular price wasn't too bad anyway. All right, let's move on. We're going to try, try the um, Dodge Ram 1500. All right, guys, so we're going to move over to the Dodge Ram. Rock this out. Oh, wait, we need the heart. We need the freaking heart, man. And, you know, for the people that say I don't have a heart, you know, I got one. All right. I'm just killing it. Killing it, baby. All right. Let me just set the old phone. Yeah, that looks pretty nice right there. All right. So, I already loosened this. All right, we're going to torque her. Torque her. I should have showed you this first because I got it set up perfect. All right, we're going to do this at 100. Well, we got foot pounds there. All right, we're going to do this at 120 foot pounds. All right, so eight pounds less than it should be um 120 is uh a pretty good amount for an impact driver we've done a lot of impacts and you know the bower for instance could not do this um i don't know what I, that might have been set at 128 but obviously it wasn't going to do it because it only has 1300 inch pounds but you know that video with the bower versus the milwaukee all that was was this showing the torque between the two. And that one was $79, right? And one was $89 with a free $50 LED light with a five-year warranty instead of a 90-day warranty. But I don't know, people. All right, so we're going to move over to the brand new 
2019 Ryobi socket adapter, half inch. All right, so a little bit shorter than the 3 8 All right, we're gonna put her on here. All right, so the heart is ready to go. All right, but let's, we're gonna torque this to 120 foot pounds. Let's see if she can do it, all right, let's see. I don't know, I'm gonna be honest with you. 120, I think it'll do it, but it's gonna struggle like hell. Like hell. Remember guys, we're going from a 21 millimeter to a 22, from a 3 8 socket adapter to a half inch, all right? So that's gonna cut down on the torque uh, tremendously. The whole freaking car is moving. All right, 120 foot pounds. As you can see, I hope you guys saw that. It's actually focusing pretty good today. All right, 120 foot pounds. All right, yeah, yeah, right there. All right, we're gonna put on the old all right, I'm sorry about that. The phone tipped over. It's full of snow now. All right, but uh, here she is, the heart. 20 volt brushed, no speed selector, impact driver. $69 at your local Walmart here. We're rocking with the 1.5. We're gonna do 120 foot pounds here on this Dodge Ram 1500. All right, 22 millimeter socket. Got the uh, half inch Ryobi 2019 edition socket adapter with the green torsion zone. All right. And again, guys, I couldn't find a half inch socket adapter anywhere. So I had to open up that Ryobi. We'll do a video on it tonight or tomorrow night. But, um, you know, these socket adapters are not cheap. Uh, again, 12, I think, what, $12.99 for that 75 piece set. But anyway, all right, let's do this, guys. All right, we want you to see. Can it go down just a little bit without tipping over? All right. All right. 120 foot-pounds. Let's see if it can do it. Gonna be able to do it, folks. I was wrong. Well, I said we'd have to struggle a little bit. Let's see. I think it might be budging. All right, we got it. Once I started um, with the trigger back and forth, right? You you press in, let go press down let go you get that instant torque um, some people ask me why do I do that that's the reason I do it um, yeah it did it guys 120 foot-pounds these are really greased up um, you know 120 foot-pounds guys for a $69 impact driver I don't think it's gonna do 128 but 120 I'm impressed guys um, you know, uh, yeah, I'm trying, 1,700. You know, it's a pretty versatile little impact driver. You know, that's what it is, guys. This isn't a professional grade impact driver. Now, obviously, I we all know people who use Ryobis uh, as part of, you know, their, their trade. Um, but, you know, obviously, they're electricians and stuff who don't really have to use powerful impact drivers. They're just screwing in, you know, residential type electricians and stuff like that but whatever um you know for for 69 dollars my point being I, I think it's a nice uh, it's, it's a pretty good buy um you know you get that three-year warranty um you know heart they they started commenting commenting on a couple of my videos that i did so we're gonna see what goes on hopefully we can maybe get some more uh stuff from them because right now i'm buying 
Well, I only bought this one set in the circular saw set, but maybe we'll start doing some of the hand tool stuff. But, you know, what can I say, guys? 120 foot-pounds, again, with a 22 millimeter. All right, I, I think the, the torque is, is uh, pretty accurate, right? You know, there's a lot of impacts we've done that couldn't do this, right, over the years. Um, I know right off the bat, the DeWalt 885, all right? But I think I was doing them at 128. And believe it or not, guys, eight foot-pounds makes, makes a lot of difference. So I don't want to speculate too much on that. But at 120 foot-pounds, um, pretty impressed, guys. Take it as you may. The heart, 20-volt, brushed impact driver. Peace.